The founder of the far-right group Oath Keepers was sentenced today to 18 years in prison for his role in plotting and orchestrating the January 6th riot on the U.S. Capitol. <laughs> Stuart Rhodes, a former Army paratrooper and lawyer, was found guilty of seditious conspiracy, obstruction of an official proceeding, and tampering with documents. It's the longest sentence handed down to the thousand-plus people charged in relation to the 2021 attack that saw Donald Trump's supporters attempt to block Congress from certifying Joe Biden's 2020 election victory. The biggest sentence that's been handed down so far, uh, the next one is 14 years. It's the only sentence that's been handed down for seditious conspiracy and uh, 30 years, I think. And so I think this speaks volumes to what other defendants could be looking at if they pled to or get convicted of seditious conspiracy. Well, I think that uh, this case uh, was all about the weaponization of speech by the Department of Justice. And I think that essentially they had used Stuart Rhodes's words against him. Uh, it was not what his actions were, but it was his words. I mean, Mr. Bright and Mr. Linder and I all argued that he never went into the Capitol, he never assaulted anyone, he never destroyed any property. We argued all those matters during the trial and, and, and post-trial. And clearly, the words of Stuart Rhodes is what the judge returned to time and time again, what he had said over a long period of time. And just as Mr. Linder said, had he been in Austin, Texas on January 6th and not in Washington, D.C., would he have been indicted and prosecuted? No, because it was his words. And so the fact of the matter is, is that we think that ultimately this is going to be about free speech. Uh, we think that uh, we have a good appeal uh, coming on this. We look forward to the appeal, the appellate process, and, you know, we stand firmly uh, behind Stuart Rhodes. Uh, you know, we don't think he's a threat to society. We, we don't think that at all. Well, he, he is a political prisoner, okay? Look, he is a graduate of Yale Law School. He wrote a paper that won a prize at Yale about uh, 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 civil rights and, 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 enemy, and combatants. enemy combatants. I mean, I mean, his thinking is very deep and nuanced. Uh, there's no way that he was the leader or the director of what happened on January 6th. He was just a convenient target. The Oath Keepers were a convenient target. Uh, the DOJ looked at them and said, oh, here's a here are the scapegoats of what happened on January 6th. We all know that the Capitol had been breached. We all know that people were already in there.